Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here, and guess what I got in the mail today? If you said art snacks because you can clearly see it on the video, then you are correct. Uh, I'm really, really, really excited to be opening another art snacks box. This, I believe, is the August box, and if you don't know what Art Snacks is, basically it is a art supply subscription box that you get every month. It is $20 a month plus free shipping if you live in the US and $20 plus $10 shipping if you are international. And um, it comes with, I believe it's four to six full size items. Generally they come with a lot of full size items in there. Um, and yeah, they're, this one seems chock full of something because it's relatively heavy and I'm really, really excited to open it. You have to order before, I believe it's the th 23rd of like the month to get the next month's box. So like for example, you have to order before the 23rd of August to get September's box. They generally ship out the last day of the month, so you should be getting your box by like the first week of the next month, which is really exciting. And yes, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open this. All right, let's see what, wow, this has a lot of stuff in it. Okay, well, first of all, we have got a Jolly Ranchers little crunch and crunchy chewy candy. Uh, it's pink, so it's probably like cherry or strawberry. Oh, nope, it's watermelon. Whoa, watermelon. All right, next up, I'm gonna grab this card out of here so I can get it out of the way. Um, and then we have a sticker, as per usual, the standard Art Snacks vinyl sticker. Then we have got, this is a Bagu uh, bag. Um, it is a, clearly a pencil case. This is freaking adorable. Can we just talk about this? It's so freaking cute. The small 3D Zip by Bagu. Pack up this month's art supplies and take them with you anywhere in this 3D Zip by Bagu. This unique bag can expand to pack in even more of your favorite art supplies. It's made of ripstop nylon, which is a special reinforced fabric that resists tearing, and your 3D Zip is machine washable to keep that sailor stripe design looking bright and clean. $6.50 retail. Then we have got a huge Mongus tube. Look how big this is. What even? How big is this? 75 milliliters. Holy guacamole. That's huge. <laughs> this is huge. It is a cobalt blue hue uh, by Dela Rowney. This is the System 3 original. Let's give you a look at this color. Oh, that's really pretty. All oh, camera, please show the pretty color. That's really, really pretty. Daler Rowney System 3 Medium Body Acrylic Paint. Use your new acrylic paint brush with the paint that it was made for, Daler Rowney System 3 Medium Body Acrylics. This water-based paint uses high-quality pigments. Acrylic paint can be laid down thick or can be thinned with water to create a watercolor wash effect. The quick drying time of this medium body paint makes it easy to experiment with layering and other effects. $6.50 retail. Uh, and then... Lastly, we have our little tube of what feels like pencils and pens and markers and skinny things like that. So we'll toss the box and we will open it. So, um, while I'm opening this box, I want you guys to let me know what you, like, think of this box. Like, what's your favorite item that's in the box? Do you get this box? Uh, if you do, let me know any color variations or what you actually thought of the box because I'm really interested to hear that because I always like talking with people about like what they get and stuff because getting art supplies is really fun and I don't know, I'm just a nerd. Oh, okay. We got a Copic. This is R08 Vermilion. Uh, this is a Copic original. I do not own Copic originals comes with a chisel nib on one end and a bullet nib on the other. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't generally use bullet nibs, but I also don't have this color, so I'm not complaining too, too much. 
Copic Classic Marker. This is the staff favorite. We love the versatility of a good double-ended marker. This Copic Classic Marker features a fine point nib and a broad chisel nib. Use it to sketch in delicate details, then flip it around to color in large areas. This refillable tool is compatible with the Copic color system and is offered in a total of 214 colors, $7.99 retail. And then next we have a acrylic number no. six shader Robert Simmons brush. This is what it looks like. I'll try to get this plasticky bit off after much finagling. I got it off. That's what it looks like. It looks like a synthetic brush, which I am 100% okay with because I love synthetic brushes. Robert Simmons Acrylic Short Handled Paintbrush. This is a new product as well as an exclusive first look. Taylor Rowney is giving all art snackers a first look at their Robert Simmons Acrylic Short Handled Paintbrush line. Different types of paint requires different types of paintbrushes, and a good acrylics brush should hold the paint without losing its shape. The synthetic fibers used in this brush were chosen to provide both the softness and control that you need in order to get the most out of acrylic painting. $5.99 retail. And yeah, here's our little haul. Um, I'm really excited to use these two colors together because this is like a reddish orange and this is a cobalt blue, so they're contrasting colors. I'm really excited. Of course, this can't be used in the illustration, but it will be used whenever I travel. And I'm really, really excited to, you know, bring you guys this illustration. So let's go ahead and head over to it. The thing I really liked about this Art Snacks box is that it was more or less a two color challenge. Um, I will admit at first you see me using the brush that came in the box, but I did swap it out for a larger brush to just initially cover the area. As you can see, I'm trying to keep my mat clean back there because uh, it's new and I don't want it covered in paint. And I am going to be using my black uh, map for painting, but I really didn't want to get it out, so uh, it was my fault I got paint on it. Um, I cleaned most of it up, though. Anyway, that has nothing to do with anything. So, um, I got the colors blue and, like, a reddish orange, and they're very contrasting, um, and honestly, the first thing that came to my mind was a girl walking through the forest with a lantern. Um, I don't feel like I executed it as well as I could have, I don't know, the Copic marker, since it wasn't, like, I couldn't, or I could have, I suppose, but I didn't use a blender of any kind, and it's not like water soluble, so it was just a really rough transition between the blue and the orangey red. Um, but honestly, if I had just taken out the Copic, this piece would have been really, really cool looking because I, I think the way I handled the acrylic paint like looked really well like with the trees and the different shading and that I really like but the addition of the Copic marker to me um, just I feel like I ruined it but um, all in all this is a really solid box I really liked it I thought it was fun and I really like this doodle that I did. I, it's not my best work or anything, but I had a lot of fun experimenting with two colors that I usually wouldn't use together. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this too. Um, and yeah, so let me know what you think of the Art Snacks box. Do you get the Art Snacks box? If you do, leave me a comment down below. Um, so while this video wraps up, if you are already and you want to be a part of our cute little squid pod, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, it really helps me out a lot because we get more squidlings and then that's more of us because we can take over the world. Yeah. Um, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I also have an art store if you want to check that out. Links are in the description below and I always have a link to Art Snacks if you want to go subscribe to them. So if you do that, you will be happy because art supplies. So yeah, until next time guys, toodaloo! It is the Sonnet Watercolors by Pro Art Supplies on Etsy. I actually have a review of this. I really loved them. If you want to check out that 